Earth, our planet will never be the same after this day. It was a night like any other. I was out and about with my girlfriend and mutual friends. We just saw a movie at the theater. We were walking and talking outside in the parking lot, when all of a sudden, I heard a scream. I looked around and saw a woman pointing to the sky. I noticed more people started looking up, and they froze in sheer fright. Some people started taking out their devices and started recording the sky. A tree branch with many leaves was above me, so I had to walk from underneath it to see what the commotion was all about. As I made it out from under the tree foliage, I saw what had everybody in fear. It... it was bigger than our moon. And... it was moving. Before I go on, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, so you don't have to go through the horrors I've gone through. I guess, now that I think about it, the signs were there. It actually started about two years ago. I was still in college and I was taking an astronomy course. One night, we had to use our telescopes to see if we could find any planets in our solar system. The farthest planet in our solar system is around 2.6 billion miles away. We were using special telescopes which couldn't actually see that far, but would pick up the electromagnetic fields of those planets. My classmate was using the telescope while I recorded the magnetic readings to compare to if we reached its depth. So we calibrated the telescope and set out to see the farthest planet in our solar system. After a few tries, we just weren't able to pick up the signals. It's like there was nothing there. The next day, I informed our professor and he brushed it off like we didn't set up the equipment correctly, which was probably true. Or so we thought. Fast forward a couple months later. I'm just browsing my favorite conspiracy theory forums when a strange anonymous post was made about the happening of all happenings. Planets are missing in our solar system. It piqued my interest, so I clicked on it. The Anon stated that he is a government scientist and that he is letting us know because the world governments have decided to keep the following information secret from the world's population. What he said was that two planets in our outer solar system are no more. They cannot be located. He said that scientists around the world are scrambling and using the most powerful telescopes and radars they have and still cannot read or take pictures of these missing planets and that something cataclysmic is going to happen to our planet, nothing could stop what's coming. It was a warning, which we could not escape. Hmm, this is interesting, <laughs> but it's so out there, and I didn't even know what to do with this information. I did some quick searches on space news websites, and front page news was that we recently sent the world's first transgender to the space station. We are now the most inclusive and progressive that we have ever been. Typical news for the times, but nothing on planets going undetected. Could the government space programs be in on it? I wondered as I went to sleep. It's now two years later. I'm about to go to the movies with my friends and girlfriend. I hear on the news there will be a meteor passing by, and it will be a spectacular sight. It's a once-in-a-lifetime meteor, the newsperson said. Cool. After the movie, we're all standing in the parking lot as I mentioned before. A woman screams the most blood-curdling scream that you ever heard. Everyone, and I mean everyone in the proximity, stopped what they were doing and looked to her. She was looking up at the sky, frozen in fear. Then they all started looking up. People started screaming. Some people took out their devices and started recording. I heard cars crashing, and the ground below my feet started to shake. I finally managed to look up to the sky, and I saw... a creature. I could only see a silhouette of it, but it was shaped like a slug. Or a whale. It was a clear night, and the creature was at a distance, but as it floated in front of our moon, the sense of its magnitude hit me. This was not in our atmosphere. It was in space. Holy shoot! Just then, I could see it open its mouth and swallow the entire moon, like as if it was a small piece of candy. Everything went dark. The stars, which were usually drowned out by light pollution, became crystal clear. Billions of stars all around us lit up the sky, but our moon? Our moon was gone. In that moment, I remembered my astronomy class, the anonymous posting online, the meteor passing our planet tonight. This was it. It was a creature of some sort. A creature which ate planets and lived in the vacuum of space. It was pitch dark. The stars from a distance barely lit up our planet. Even though we had lights all around us, in buildings, cars, street lamps, it still didn't light up the sky. People were freaking out. 
a loud air horn siren which was supposed to be only used during floods went off. It didn't help with the situation. It was absolute mayhem. Just then, my girlfriend started shaking me. I snapped out of my daze, but I didn't know what to tell her. I heard people saying we should go underground, into the sewers, but I knew nothing could stop what is coming. Everything went dead silent for a second as a strange odor filled the air. We were all looking up to see if we could see the creature in the darkness of the night sky. Then, all of a sudden, we saw it. Six glowing of what could only be described as eyes were getting closer to us from the sky. People were screaming for God and the shaking underneath us got worse. Just then, my girlfriend's hair started to stand up as if it was being pulled up by a force. A force of gravity. The creature's size was so big that it had its own pull of gravity. I saw a woman with her baby just fly up into the air towards the sky. Then I saw hundreds of people also get pulled up into the sky. Cars and buildings started ripping up into the sky as well. I grabbed my girlfriend's hand and held onto a tree, but the force was too much. Her hand slipped away. She screams, I love you, as she was sent at a G-force speed into the sky. My stomach turned. I was going to marry her one day. As I held onto the tree harder than anything, I felt a force on my face. My eyeballs were pulled out of my eye sockets. Holy shoot, I couldn't believe it. I'm going to die. The tree eventually gave way. The roots were strong, but not strong enough. As I soared through space, I heard a loud rumbling growl. I could feel the hot breath of this creature. Then, suddenly, I felt nothing. Even though I didn't have eyes anymore, I saw all white. I felt calm. This was the end. This was the day our planet was eaten by a space whale.